My name is Guy Courtin, and my title is Vice President of Industry Solutions for Fashion and Retail at GT Nexus. The thought behind it is absolutely spot on. Um, but, you know, something that we've been working on is to think about Omnichannel as a stage, if you will, in this commerce journey. Um, where we are today and where we will be in the next few years is, is really always on seamless commerce, right? Whether it's through our phone, through a connected device like a watch or a, or, or a band, um, eventually even connected clothing, right, all these things, we will always be able to transact, right? We, th we see things like Apple Pay, Google Pay, things like that. Um, so the payment side is coming down where we'll be able to transact seamlessly. We're able to access inventory or product through a whole host of devices anytime and anywhere. So I think what we need to do is to start thinking about this notion of, of you know, frictionless or seamless commerce that um, we as consumers are driving towards where brands, CPGs and retailers need to keep up. Right? We are no longer, sort of the analogy I, I've used in the past, right? we're no longer tethered to the big department store that's in our physical location that we can only get to. Right? We, we're not going to drive five hours to get something. Well now, two clicks away, I can get anything I want. And I can be at fulfilled in multiple ways. So for us, and I think this notion of sort of this, this frictionless commerce is really about how retail has to start constantly thinking about this change where they themselves and their supply chain needs to be flexible, always on. Um, again, that network concept, right? Be able to get to the edges of the network and be able to pick up signals, fulfill there, fulfill profitably, respond to customer demands, service at that level, be able to provide experiences potentially at that level. So all of a sudden the world really opens up. It's no longer constrained to this little sliver is when you do your transaction and your commerce and then over here in your time is when you, you know, make dinner and then over here is when you give your kid the bath, right? All of a sudden, that commerce happens anywhere, right? All of a sudden, we're, we're, we're making dinner and I forgot paprika. Can I order it? Can it be delivered within 20 minutes potentially? Or I'm giving my kid a bath and all of a sudden I realize I don't have clothes for him for the morning for school. Can I all of a sudden get it drop shipped to me in the morning, right? Crazy ideas, but who knows? Down the road, maybe that's going to happen. Right? We're seeing that, and I bring them up again with Amazon, but we're seeing that with, you know, with, with the Echo and things like that where they're allowing you just to order things with your voice in your, in your house. We're seeing that you know, with, with some of the, the big white goods manufacturers saying, hey, we'll figure out when you're gonna run out of dishwasher detergent and we'll pre-order it for you. Right? Well, what about being able to talk to it? Or what about it just senses it, right? So all of a sudden this, this notion of, of commerce being a, a finite stage in your daily activity or your weekly activity is going away. So now the reality is for the companies that are fulfilling that, the retailers, the CPG companies is, how do they ensure that now they no longer know when you're going to want something, right? They no longer know that you're going to wake up at two in the morning and realize you, you need an inflatable pool for the party and you're going to order right then and you want it within, you know, by the next morning, things like that. So I think this notion of, of omni-channel is just a stage, I think, in the process that we're seeing to get into a place of, of this, this just commerce. It's just really commerce. And I think the, the brands and, uh, and the CPGs and the retailers that realize that and prepare themselves to fulfill that, if you will, uh, are the ones that are gonna, gonna be ahead of the curve, if you will, uh, when this really does, which it already is, it, it really takes off.